In this video, I'll be discussing the different types of uh, A-frame log loaders that are available. Um, first, we have the Serco 1050XR. Uh, it's, it's older technology, you know, external hoses, but it's very, very strong. Um, it advertises, uh, you know, six-inch bore cylinders by a three-inch rod at 7,800 pounds. And I wanted to just compare a couple machines, um, basically, at the 15-foot out and 15 foot up mark. So for this one, for instance, uh, without the grapple, is supposed to lift uh, about 6,700 pounds. Um, so we've got that one. Then there's the Prentice 2124. Um, still older technology, but very you know refined for its time and very reliable loader. Uh, I've used one for a number of years on and off. Um, it's got a 22 and a 25 foot boom and then if we look down at the 25 um, looks like 15 foot out and 15 foot up is about uh, 5100 pounds uh, it weighs 6050 pounds and it has a 4.5 inch bore by two and a half inch rod um, the next one is a built right and it looks like it is uh, 22 foot. The machine weighs 62.50, and uh, 15 up and 15 out is 53.97. Um, looks like a nice machine. Uh, they use them for a lot of like railroad projects and stuff like that. Uh, the next one is a Lemco 8000. Uh, weighs 64.60. Uh, it didn't have a load chart, but it says 5,900 at 15 foot out. Some of these manufacturers rate this at, you know, 5 foot up, 10 foot out, 15 foot up. So I couldn't really say how strong it is compared to the other machines. But it does have a 3.5 inch bore by a 2 inch rod cylinder. So it is smaller cylinders. Um, the next one is a Rotobec. Um, I haven't used one, but I've heard they're they're great loaders. Um, it still has external hoses, but they're routed, you know, pretty well. It's harder to kind of snag one on something and ruin your day. So it weighs 6160. I couldn't find a load chart for it, so um, I'm not sure what it lifts at 15 up, 15 out. It's got a five inch bore by three inch rod, so pretty strong, standard. Um, the next one is a uh, Barco. Um, you know, good strong loader, still has external hoses. They've been known pretty well in the logging industry for a long time. Uh, the loader weighs uh, 5,300 pounds. And it's got a 15 foot out, but only 10 foot up rating of 8,400 pounds. And then the next step is uh, 5,730. So interpolate somewhere between that point it should still lift a pretty good amount uh, it's got a five inch bore by three inch rod um, piston on it and some of these use you know triple gear pumps or uh, piston pumps you know different uh, gallon per minute uh, that'll have an effect on speed and lifting ability and heat production uh, last but not least we've got the palfinger um, they've been building loaders for a while now, and it's a very modern design. Uh, there's no hoses on the sides of the boom. They're all internal, so uh, less chances of breaking one off, hitting something. Definitely harder to change when you do break one, but hopefully that's, you know, down the line. Um, I was kind of leaning towards this loader out of, the all, out of all of them because it's uh, a little bit lighter weight. It comes in at... Uh, 5,300 pounds, and it'll lift about 5,500 pounds um, at uh, 15 out and 15 up. So let me zoom this in a little bit so you can see. We're talking about the M13889, which is the 32-foot uh, setup. So on a big storm truck, uh, generally you get about you know 4,500, 5,000 pounds over the side with one of these loaders with a, you know, 800 pound circle gravel, uh, a lot of people use. Uh, they also have a little hood that you can get, but 
as tall as these loaders are, it'll more than likely just get broken off. Um, this one has the heated uh, grips. And all these loaders have like lights and, you know, stuff like that. So. But I just want to take a second and compare the different loaders and uh, explain why I went with the Palfinger over the other ones for local work. The, uh, the benefits of it, for, for me at least, are uh, it's 23 foot when it's retracted, 22, 23 when it's retracted, and then extends up to 32. So it's short when you need it, and then it's long when you need it with a decent amount of power. And then uh, all internal hoses... And then just, you know, modern technology. These guys built a lot of different loaders. So that's the direction I went.